Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome to the beautiful month of Ramadan and welcome to this brand new series entitled Dealing with Difficulty. And the reason I've chosen this is many people are going through so much of hardship, so much of difficulty during these times that are very, very challenging. People don't have jobs, people are going through marital hardship, people are finding it difficult to get married, people are having health problems, we had the coronavirus that scared the world, we had people who lost their lives, people are going through loss in terms of their wealth and so much more. With all these difficulties, how do we deal with all of this? So Allah Almighty tells us in Surah Al-Baqarah, وَاسْتَعِينُوا بِالصَّبْرِ وَالصَّلَاةِ وَإِنَّهَا لَكَبِيرَةٌ إِلَّا عَلَى الْخَاشِعِينَ Seek assistance through patience and prayer. Seek help. You want help? You have to seek help through patience and prayer. That is more important than reaching out to another person. So if you want to be assisted by Allah Almighty, you must seek help through patience and prayer. And it's not easy. Being patient is not easy. We want to talk about the different types of patience. But with that, establishing your prayer is also not easy. So Allah Almighty says, وَإِنَّهَا لَكَبِيرَةٌ إِلَّا عَلَى الْخَاشِعِينَ Indeed, it is difficult except for those who are known as Al-Khashi'een. Al-Khashi'een. So who are the Khashi'een? Allah says, it's going to be hard to bear patience. It's going to be hard to pray regularly and to establish your prayer. It's going to be hard to do those, but they are difficult except for those who are khashi'een. Khashi'een, those who have concentration and dedication towards Allah Almighty, and they are serious about their connection with Allah. Those are the khashi'een, but Allah describes them in a more beautiful way than the English language would ever be able to describe them. Allah says, الَّذِينَ يَظُنُّونَ أَنَّهُمْ مُلَاقُوا رَبِّهِمْ وَأَنَّهُمْ إِلَيْهِ رَاجِعُونَ Those who are convinced that they are going to meet their Lord and go back to Him. So if you have these two convictions within you, then you will be from among the khashi'een. And if you are from among the khashi'een, you will be able to pray and seek help through patience. And in, if you were able to seek help through prayer and patience, then the difficulties are dealt with. Hence, we have dealing with difficulty. So let's go back to this verse. Allah says, those who are convinced that they are going to meet with their maker and return to their maker. I'm going to return to Allah. I always look at those who don't believe in the hereafter. And I think to myself, imagine these people, they presume or they think or they believe that that's it. We just got to live this life and do whatever. They suffer and struggle and dealing with difficulty for them is not easy. When you have conviction, you will deal with your difficulties in a much, much better way. Look at our brothers and sisters struggling as we speak in Gaza, in Palestine, among other places the conviction they have that they are going to meet with Allah and going to return to Allah keeps them happy to the last moment. It keeps them on a level of connection with their maker that they are convinced that they are going to go to a better place and they will, inshallah. May Allah grant them goodness. So if you look at the difficulties I have in my life or you have in your lives, they are nothing compared to those people's hardship and difficulty in Gaza and in Palestine and in other countries that are suffering either man-made problems or disasters that we would call natural disasters. Something that was uh, like a flood or an earthquake or something of that nature. So these types of difficulties vary from person to person. You need to know Allah will never test you with something beyond your capacity. لا يكلف الله نفسا إلا وسعها. Allah never burdens a soul except according to its capacity. So this is why when a person has done wrong as well, Allah doesn't punish except what you deserve. 
And when a person has done right, when a person has done good deeds, Allah Almighty will reward that person in an amazing, beautiful way. The reward is always multiplied. But when it comes to the sin, Allah never multiplies it. If anything, He wants to forgive it. You have this month of Ramadan. It's also known as the month of forgiveness. What is Allah going to do for you? He's going to give you more than what you've asked. He's going to forgive you. And if it's a month of forgiveness, you seek forgiveness from the sins you've committed, forgiven. But never does Allah say, He's not going to reward you for the good that you've done. He will reward you. The only time, yes, you might lose some of, you might lose some of the reward if you engaged in backbiting, if you engage in harming others. And if you've engaged in oppressing or doing wrong to another person, then some of your good deeds may have to go to that person as a payment if they haven't forgiven you and you've now arrived on the day of judgment. So dealing with difficulty is made easy if you connect with Allah. Connection with Allah is made easy when you are convinced that you're going to return to Him and you're going to go back to Him and that definitely there is a hereafter. Believing in that, is made easy if you connect with Allah and if you actually think about who you are, where you came from. We are so sophisticated as humankind. I, I look at myself, I'm an intelligent person, I have a brain, we are all quite clever. The people of today, we have a lot of knowledge, we, we are so complex, we have emotions, we have feelings, we have eyes, we see, we watch. All of these, are they not the gifts of Allah to prove to you that, oh man, you are so sophisticated that you cannot just come to an end. It can't be. You can't. You know, coming to an end and thinking that that's the end of everything is actually disbelief in Allah Almighty, in your maker. People might say, well, you know, we came about. We came about. We just happened to, you know, grow and come on earth. Do you know how sophisticated you are? You have a kidney that works in a way that someone has to have made it. You have a spleen, you have a pancreas, you have an esophagus, you have, let's look at your tongue, the saliva, your teeth and the way they are, your fingers, your nails, your thumbprints, your fingerprints, the way your hand is shaped and made, the way your legs are, the bones, the muscles, the veins, the blood, the heart, the arteries, the capillaries, the movement. And you also have sickness and disease that comes in and creeps in. May Allah grant us all cure. All of these, your identity, you know, the, your face, the facial features, the way your hair grows, all this and you're trying to tell me that it just came about? It is too complex and too sophisticated for this to just have come about. I remember speaking to a medical doctor who told me, and he was a physician. He said, the more you study, the more you realize that there is definitely a maker who made this. It cannot be coincidence to have such a sophisticated DNA, to have such a sophisticated genetic makeup. All this is part of evidence that Allah exists. The reason I say this, we're talking about dealing with difficulty. You will not be able to deal with difficulty properly and correctly if you are going to be a person who's disconnected from he who made you. And if you believe no one made you, unfortunately, we can't really help you. Besides, trying to point towards what I just did now, that, you know, we are sophisticated, we have so much on earth. Do you think you're just going to leave this behind after not even a hundred years? The average lifespan of humankind now is nowhere near a hundred years, nowhere near. The number of people who live to a hundred and beyond is very, very small. So we ask Allah Almighty to grant us from His goodness and to make us realize that this life is so short. We need to seek help during times of difficulty and hardship by connecting with Allah and by praying and bearing patience. When we pray and bear patience, Allah Almighty will indeed make things easy for us. So I want to end by telling you, if you're not praying and if you're not patient, then you don't really have a problem and you don't really have difficulty. Because if you do have difficulty and you really are serious about dealing with it, you would pray and you would bear patience. May Allah Almighty make it easy for all of us. 
May Allah Almighty help us. I look forward to another 29 episodes of this beautiful series. Today is just an introduction to this wonderful series. Pray that Allah Almighty grant us the ability to discuss matters that are affecting you in your lives. And inshallah, we hope to help each other navigate through these hardships and difficulty in a way that pleases Allah and alleviates our struggles. Aqulu qawli hadha. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Thank mm-hmm. you.